Fuck Whoa. this thing! Piss oh, off! Come on, look I at hope that. you die and hate you! I'll fucking do it again. Okay. Welcome to a video on how to get good at the Steam Blaster, perhaps the most obnoxious legendary upgrade in the game. Players who are able to master this salt dispensing machine will receive so much fucking hate mail that they are guaranteed to learn some form of suspension within 3 months of first using it. Let's get started. The Steam Blaster is one of the two legendary upgrades for the zombie faction, and like every other legendary upgrade, costs 5 points to equip. The upgrade changes the scientist's weapon from a long-range shotgun to a short-range slow-firing area denial steam weapon. The Steam Blaster fires at 58 rounds per minute and comes with 4 ammo per clip before needing to take a 2.2 second reload. Each shot fired from the weapon can deal up to a maximum of 87 damage per steam cloud if the player you are shooting at decides to become paralyzed. The Steam Blaster does shift the role of the scientist from a semi-long range support to a powerful area denial tool, as with the steam lingering for roughly 1.5 seconds after being fired, it allows you to lock down choke points or objectives, either forcing your enemy to get off them, take an alternate route, or simply dying trying to fight you. The steam travels up to 16 meters in front of it, so you will have to get up close and personal if you wish to dominate any unfortunate idiot who happens to inconveniently have an encounter with you. Now, with the steam blaster costing 5 points to equip, it does limit the number of combinations that you can have with it. However, one of the most optimum builds for the Steam Blaster, as it paired with the Materialize upgrade, which grants back 2 ammo for each and every time that you walk, which allows you to significantly extend the magazine capacity of the Steam Blaster, far beyond what was intended, especially with how little of a cooldown each warp has. Alternatively, if you wish to still support your team, and provide them with plenty of sustain, then you may equip the Power Wash upgrade, which allows you to heal even faster, and grants the heal hose an entire 20 meters worth of range, perfect for when you feel like camping on the roof whilst healing your now near a mortal friend. In terms of strengths, the steam blaster will outright dominate any plant class in the game in a one on one fight, though if done correctly, can face multiple people at once without breaking a sweat, especially against oaks that have acorn passengers, as simply shooting at the oak will damage the passengers as well. Because of its area denial capabilities, it is also strong in tight spaces or if enemies have to reach a certain location allowing you to lock it down and have a major advantage for both yourself and your team. However, the Steam Blaster does have quite limited range, meaning that classes that excel at long range combat such as the Cactus or have access to high mobility like Acorn will be able to deal with you very easily. Not only this, but due to the scientist only having 100 health, it does essentially make you a glass cannon with only one way of healing yourself so you will have to be careful in picking your fights. Lastly, due to its small capacity of only 4 rounds per clip, you will end up reloading very often, so be sure to always top up your ammo capacity before engaging in any future encounters. Thanks to this guide, you will now be able to completely decimate any group of enemies that dare stand before you, with your only true enemy being the number of reports your account can receive before being suspended. Be sure to come back for the next episode on Wednesday. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.